So many of my business strategies I've learned from athletics. And uh, business is all about competition, and Olympians are experts in how to compete and how to win. So I'm going to share with you five lessons that businesses can learn from Olympians. So the first lesson is Olympians are losers. And uh, I see a lot of the non-athletes getting excited, um, which uh, we're, we're in Berkeley, so let's face it, there's a lot of you here. Um, but what I mean is Olympians have been seeking challenges their entire careers. They look for competition that's better than they are, which means they lose more than they win. They hate to lose, but they're not afraid of it. Um, and uh, you don't learn that much from winning, frankly. Uh, but losing teaches you everything. What are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? What are your competitors doing better than you? What's it going to take to beat them the next time you see them? Losing could be the single most valuable tool for winning. And after a lifetime of losing, you just might win big, like these athletes. So that's number one. Number two, Olympians take risks. So these athletes are putting their lives on hold, probably running up debt, all for a dream that usually isn't realized. And there, there's a reason we stop talking about our dreams as we get older, because we hate failure. We don't want to be embarrassed or laughed at, so we tend to play it safe. But Olympians don't. So let me show you what I mean. So not his finest moment. Uh, that was a World Cup competition in his rookie season. And it didn't matter that eight months prior he was competing in the Olympic trials for track and field. Um, they didn't mention that on Eurosport or ESPN um, Sports Center that night. Everyone just had a good laugh. But he went on to compete in the 98 Olympics and the 2002 Olympics. And today he's standing before a bunch of uh, Berkeley grads talking about taking risks. <laughs> so, so that was me, and that really sucked. <laughs> but but that's, that's all it did, and that's the point. Failure isn't fatal. Uh, it's human, and we grow from it. And we have to get over our fear of it if we ever plan on doing great things. So as a business, we have to take risks or we lose. And we could have played it safe with our bobsled program. Uh, we had some of the fastest sleds in the world already, but we, we saw the writing on the wall. We were losing ground, and we had an opportunity. And somehow we convinced BMW to come way out of their comfort zone and partner on a, uh, the most aggressive technology program we'd ever launched. And the risk paid off for both of us, and now we've got the fastest sleds in the world. So number three, Olympians aspire to but do not expect perfection. If you're going to be the best in the world, you better have what you believe is the perfect plan. But that plan had better be dynamic when the unexpected happens, because the unexpected always happens. And if your success is tied to everything going right, then you, uh, you're probably done. Noel Pike is pace. Uh, she was a medal favorite in 2006, and four months before the games, she gets hit by a bobsled in the track. Freak accident. Her Olympic dream was done. She came back in 2010 for another shot at a medal, ended up finishing fourth. So for 2014, after having two kids past her physical prime, she reinvented herself in terms of training and focus and walked away with a silver medal in Sochi. Steve Holcomb. Didn't make the team in 2002, came up short. As a push athlete, switched to driving, tried to make the 2006 team, which he did. Two years later, he told us that uh, he had an eye disease and he was going blind. And in fact, he finished that season legally blind. Um, found a doctor who was willing to do an experimental surgery, and it was successful. Two years later, 2010, he's a gold medalist, and he just added two more medals to, uh, to that list in, uh, in Sochi. So the athletes that win aren't the ones with perfect situations. They're the ones that decide they're going to win anyway. Number four, Olympians have fun. 
So our athletes train hard and play hard. <laughs> and life is too short. You got to enjoy the ride. And the final thing, Olympians give back. It'd be real easy for these athletes to be selfish, but they give back to the kids and the organizations that they care about. And uh, when you give back, it keeps you grounded and brings some meaning to your mission. And the reality is most people are never going to be Olympians, but every one of us can be a hero to someone, and the world needs heroes. Thank you.